Hello, my name is Amina from the Ant4OS enablement team. Welcome to a tutorial on creating custom Mongoose URLs to access forms. When you're using the web client, forms are accessed through URLs. These URLs can be constructed with a base URL and optional URL parameters. In this video, we will cover how to find and create the base URL and all the URL parameters that control what happens when the web client opens. Let's start our tutorial. Normally, you would access a form by logging into your environment. Opening Mongoose. And then finding your form. If there are any themes or filters, I would need to apply them manually. So let's say I want to filter for the gender woman's. I can do so like this. And if I want to apply any themes, I would need to go under user preferences. Let's say I want to do Acme Dark. And you can see my statics and my edit boxes have darkened a little bit. However, sometimes it's easier to have a direct link to the form if you or other users are accessing the same form quite often. So I have a link saved in my bookmarks here and clicking on it will take me directly to my form with the filter and theming in place. And you'll notice that it didn't ask me to log in to view the form, and that's because I'm already logged into the Mingle environment. So let's take a look at how I created this URL. So the first thing you need to do is find your base URL, which is basically the Mongoose web server. So go to your Mongoose configuration page, and if you're automatically logged in, then you can then you can sign out and it'll take you back here. So I'm going to right click and select view frame source. Copy and paste this URL into a text editor. So I'll make this bigger here and clean it up. We don't need the view source. Everything before the question mark is a link to the web server and everything after are the parameters you need to specify to access your form. This link has more specialized parameters for customizing your session, such as languages or time zones, which you don't necessarily need if you're trying to go directly to your form. So I'm going to clean up this URL and remove the parameters we don't need. Parameters are separated by this ampersand symbol and you want to try to avoid having spaces between them as it can confuse some of the values for these parameters. And also they don't need to be in any particular order for the system to use them. The required parameters are your tenant and configuration group. The force SSO parameter is a force single sign-on and it uses your Mingle credentials to log into Mongoose, but you could set this to zero and have the option of logging in as a different user. So let's try out this link. I still have to authenticate with the Mingle environment, but it will automatically log me into Mongoose with force SSO set to one. And this is what it looks like if I don't supply the force SSO parameter. I've logged in as Amina, but I'm logging into Mongoose as A. Carter.
At this stage, we've constructed our base URL, which allows you to directly access the web client without navigating through the Mingle environment. Let's add more parameters to our base and see what they can do. I will add the config and form parameters now, which will find and open the form for me. So I will add the ampersand symbol and include config is equal to whatever my configuration name is. You can also get the configuration name by going into your environment and clicking on help and then about and it should say connected via data configuration and then this would be the configuration name that you're looking for. So now I will add the form parameter. And let's check out this link. And as you can see, it takes me directly to my form. You also have the option of hiding the menu. Let's add a menu parameter and set it to hidden. With the menu hidden and only the toolbar enabled, it allows the user to perform basic add, save, and delete operations while minimizing the amount of access they have to other functions. If you'd like to get rid of the toolbar as well, we can supply a page parameter set to form only. This will automatically get rid of the menu and toolbar so we don't need to supply a menu parameter anymore. Form only mode is typically used for mobile forms. With the goal of conserving space by getting rid of the menu and toolbar but still keeping the form title. If you'd like to get rid of the title as well, you can add a no title parameter and set it to one. Next, we want our form to apply the correct theming. I will pass in a theme parameter with the name of my theme, which will override the default theme setting for the session. As you can see, our theme has been applied. Lastly, I will cover form launch parameters, which allow you to open your form with a predefined filter or variable. Earlier, we manually filtered the form for the gender woman. Using the filter keyword, I will assign the gender property to woman with single quotes. If you need to initialize any variables, use the set var values keyword. In the parentheses, pass in the name of your variable with the value. Let's test our link. And there we go. We've successfully created a custom Mongoose URL that allows us to access this form quickly with our settings automatically applied. For more information and a list of all the parameters we've covered, you can refer to the Mongoose documentation.